Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a sales engineer at InRiver, and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of InRiver PIM. So I'm going to start to log in to the system here. And what you see here is the InRiver PIM portal. And it consists of role-based apps. So depending on who you are and what you do, you will have access to one or more of these apps. And if we see here on the top, we have the four core apps, and they correspond to the four stages in the River PIM process. So in the supply app, you have all the connections to different systems that you want to fetch information from into in River. So here will be your connection to your ERP, maybe to the resource import, or the other places where you want to gather information from suppliers through machine-machine integrations and so on. We have the Enrich app, and here's where you create all the product stories that you want to tell your customers in various channels. So you will add selling text, translations, you create relations, you add images and videos to make your products really compelling and create that great customer experience. In the Plan and Release app, you have the channel perspective, so you decide what assortment should go where in the different channels. And also you can work with the structure of your publications, your printed publications, and manage that as well. In the Publish app, you have all the connections to the outbound systems like your e-commerce and your CMS system. And you can monitor and configure those connections in one place. We also have some system apps that allows you to get great control over who are allowed to do what in the system. So you have users, roles, you work with permissions, and so on. You can also set up completeness rules, and this is a great thing, because it gives you the support of knowing what information do I need to contribute with in order to make my products channel ready. So you can, for every channel, set up rules that says, for instance, I need a description, I need images, I need certain relations, and in River will help you in your daily work, seeing to that you have all information in place. And you manage this in the system app. And also we have a print administration that lets you to work with settings that you will utilize when you use in River Print for Adobe InDesign. To the right, you have some statistics. So here you can see what has happened in the system the last week. New products, new resources that come into the system. And also you can, since this is your personal login, you can set up notifications and work areas that allows you to work as efficient as possible in the system and that the system really can support you in your everyday work. In the middle, we have some functional apps and they extend the functionality of InRiver. We have the Planner app. And the Planner app allows you to create product launches and marketing campaigns. And you can follow up that to make sure that you really have all the product information in place. So you have all the images and product descriptions that you need. You can also follow up on all the activities you need to do as well. The content store. It's a way you, in a five minute setup, you can create the unique content store that lets your resellers get access to your products so they can download your product information and resources. And it's really, re really easy to use. And also the supplier onboarding app allows you to create supplier portals where your suppliers can upload information and validate them towards your marketing model, saving you a lot of time. So this is the different apps in the in River PIM portal. And it's a dynamic marketing hub for your company. And you can extend this together with your partner. So let's go into an app uh, and let's go into the Enrich app where they create these product stories. And when I log in here, I come to my personal dashboard. And here I set up my environment to really support so I can work efficient every day. And I have work areas that can take me directly to certain assortments that I'm responsible for. But I can also attach queries to these work areas, allowing them to be smart folders. So for instance, I might be responsible for seeing to that we have images to all the products, which is really important. So I can have a folder that monitors all the products that are lacking images. So with just one click, I can see all the products that are missing images and start to work with them. So I can also set up in River to notify me and send me tasks when certain things happen. So, but instead of having in River sending me a task every time I need to add a new image, 
I might want to create more harmony in my workload. So we have created something that we call notify me when. So here I can decide when I want to get notified by the system. So in this case, I tell the system that when there is more than 20 products that are missing images, then I want a notification so I don't get the email overload or anything. In the middle here, I have some start entities, and it might be so that there are certain things that I want to monitor in the system, certain products, campaigns, channels that I want to have control over. So here I have first a product, and this product card here represents a product in the system. And I can see a lot of just seeing this product card. I can see a small miniature image, and I see a symbol that tells me that this is a product, and also a label so I can identify the product very easily. But then I have this, and this is the completeness indicator. So I see that this is 80% complete, and, and why is that? So when I click it, I can see my completeness rules. I see I have a rule for e-commerce here. I want my products to be grouped. I want them to have a product description. I want them to have an image. And I also want the items to be complete. And we do a differentiation in between products and items in in river and that's because we want you to be much more efficient when you are doing the product enrichment in an erp system you work at the SKU level only every variant of every product has its own row and in information and we want to avoid copy paste i hate my life in in river so instead we have this distinction so on the product level you have all the information that is in common in between the different items or variants of the product and it could be the description, USPs, different documents, everything you maintain on that level. And then on the item level, you just maintain the information that is unique for each variant. And it could maybe just be the color or the size or something else that is unique on the variant level. And that makes you much more efficient. And as you see here, you can also have different completeness rules for different channels. So for the print channel, we might have other attributes that must be in place in order for you to be able to do that print campaign. So we also have a, a menu here on all the different entity cards. And I can access a quick edit functionality, which allows me to, to work with all the different attributes of the product. And it also has multi-language support, so you can work with a lot of different languages at the same time. Here you can see all the tasks as well that you have. And you, can, you have a quick search functionality that allows you to really quick find the different products in the system. And we also have an advanced search query that gives you full power to the search within the river, where you can combine attribute search with relations and completeness rules to really find the things that you're looking for. And you can save these as saved searches, as work areas, and you can add notifications to them. So it, it really gives you the support. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on the product and we come to the product overview. So here I get the 360 degree view over all the information about my product in one place. So I see the media that I have attached to the product. And you can attach images, videos, PDFs, anything you like, any file that you want to have to your products or campaigns or, or what you're working with in InRiver. And in River only stores the high resolution images and we can automatically do different sizes and formats and styles depending on what the channel wants. So this is done automatically. You don't have to do any manual resizing or anything. We also see the most important attributes here directly on the overview. And here is one thing that is very important is that you can see exactly in what channels are my products used. I can see that these are in digital displays in stores. I have this in a company publication, but also in my e-commerce channel. So you can see where is this product used. And I can also see the relations that I have with this product. I can see that this is a part of a winter jacket campaign. And it's a part of a task that I need to write new Swedish text, for instance. And then we talked about variants. So here, here I see the different variants that are attached to the product. We have the blue, the red, and the green jacket, so on. So this is a brief overview of the product. But I also talked about the plan and release app before, where we have the channels in perspective. So I will just change in between the apps, like this. And then I have all my different channels here. And for instance, 
It could be that I'm working with my global website and I want to publish different products out here. So from the channel, I can build up a structure that would be the navigational structure of the website with all the different categories. And I can very easily add a new category. Maybe I want my jackets out on the global website. And in River, we really want to work with user friendliness and everything is drag and drop enabled. So I can just drag and drop enable uh, products out in this channel. But of course, we want to automate this as well. So you can create a rule that says that all the products from the group jackets should go in this category. So I just set up this rule like this and I save it. And when I look at the content, you can see that all the jackets has now been published in this channel. So you can set up this structure and when there comes new products in the system, they will go directly in the right categories in the right channels and that will save you a huge amount of time. Going back to the planner release app, we also see that we can work with the publications and it works exactly the same way. You create a structure for the publication with different spreads and different chapters. And you can add products to these different sections. In this case, we have two products. But the difference is that these products are now available from Adobe InDesign. So I can pick up a template here that controls all the layout and formatting, choose the product, choose the language layer, and just press insert. And it will automatically create this product data sheet for you. And it can save a lot of time, I hope you see it. So this was just a brief overview of the functionality of InRiver. I hope you enjoyed it and see you around.